Chapter 4, Lesson 1, The Houses, Introduction. When you look at an astrological birth or natal chart, what you will see is a circle that is sliced up into 12 segments. This is a stylized map of the heavens at the moment of your birth. The central point of the circle represents the earth. The topmost part of the wheel represents the 12 noon position for the day of your birth. The lowest part of the wheel represents the 12 midnight point. The easternmost point of the wheel represents dawn, or roughly 6 a.m. The westernmost point represents sunset, or roughly 6 p.m. All the other divisions of the wheel represent approximately two hour segments of time. The planets in a chart reading refer to basic components of a person's makeup. They represent how a person loves, how aggressive they are, how they love, how they think, and so forth. The zodiacal signs color these basic planetary personality components, and the houses of the birth chart shows the areas of mundane life that it all take, takes place in. There are 12 pie-shaped houses in a birth chart wheel that indicate approximately two hour segments of time. The planets at the time of your birth are placed in this birth chart wheel according to their position at the moment and geographical location of your birth. The cusp or beginning of the first house begins at the 6 a.m. position and continues to the 4 a.m. position. The, the cusp of the second house begins at the 4 a.m. position and continues to the 2 a.m. position. The cusp of the third house begins at the 2 a.m. position and continues to the 12 midnight point. The cusp of the fourth house begins at the 12 midnight position and continues to the 10 p.m. point. The cusp of the fifth house begins at the 10 p.m. position and continues to the 8 p.m. point. The cusp of the 6th house begins at the 8 p.m. position and continues to the 6 p.m. point. The cusp of the 7th house begins at the 6 p.m. position and continues to the 4 p.m. position. The cusp of the 8th house begins at the 8 p.m. position and continues to the 2 p.m. point. The cusp of the 9th house begins at the 2 p.m. position and continues to the 12 noon point. The cusp of the 10th house begins at the 12 noon point and continues to the 10 a.m. point. The cusp of the 11th house begins at the 10 a.m. position and continues to the 8 a.m. point. The cusp of the 12th house begins at the 8 a.m. position and continues to the 6 a.m. point. The Houses The First House the first house, which is the 6 a.m. to the 4 a.m. position on the birth chart wheel, pertains to how you present yourself to the world. The beginning or cusp of this house has special significance and is as often referred to as your rising sign or your ascendant sign. The sun represents your life's path. It is what you aspire to become through the course of your lifetime. The moon represents your past. It is the part of you that comes out when you aren't consciously moving forward on the sun's path. It represents the way you respond to things, your unconscious reactions. The ascendant or rising sign is the qualities that you have found that you had to develop in your late teens to early 20s in order to function in society. It is the mask that you put on as you move about in society. The ascendant or rising sign also refers to how your physical body is formed. It refers to how you look and the types of clothes you would choose to wear. It pertains to your personal style. The second house. The second house, which is the 4 a.m. to the 2 a.m. position on the birth chart wheel, is concerned with what you value materially and of money that you earn. This house represents what your relationship with money and tangible movable assets is like. It will answer the questions of how easy or difficult it might be for you to earn money and how important money and material possessions are to you. In a deeper sense, this house also refers to your sense of values on the psychological level. The third house. The third house, which is the 2 a.m. to the midnight position on the birth chart wheel, 
refers to your relationship with your siblings, cousins, and extended family, as well as your relationship with neighbors and your local community. This house is also concerned with your mundane day-to-day -day life and the workings of your mind on a mundane level. Your experiences during grade school are indicated by this house, as are short distance trips around the city or into neighboring towns. The fourth house. The fourth house, which is the midnight to the 10 p.m. position on the birth chart wheel, is concerned with the beginning of your life as well as the conditions and atmospheres of your home near the end of your life. This house is also about your parents and your relationship with them, the physical home that you grew up in, as well as real estate issues in general, are also indicated by this house. The fifth house. The fifth house, which is the 10 p.m. to 8 p.m. position on the birth chart wheel, relates to having fun, gambling, games and playing. This is the, also the house of children and your relationship with them. The fifth house pertains to romantic love and dating, that exciting fun beginning phase of a relationship, but not the committed stage of a relationship. Art, music, theater, dancing and other acts of creativity are also represented by this house. The sixth house. The sixth house, which is the 8 p.m. to the 6 p.m. position on the birth chart wheel, is concerned with your day-to-day -day work environment and your attitude to all the mundane tasks that occur there. This house indicates how you take care of your physical body. It pertains to things like your exercise, nutrition, and health habits or lack of them. Your relationships with servants, or in today's world, your relationships with people that serve you, such as waiters, waitresses, dry cleaners, car repair people, and so forth, are indicated in this house. The seventh house. The seventh house, which is the 6 p.m. to the 4 p.m. position on the birth chart wheel, is the house of marriage and other types of intimate unions. This house refers to the qualities that you seek, as well as the qualities that you have to give in an intimate union. Ultimately, this house shows the qualities of all of your intimate unions, which includes marriage, living together relationships, doctor, lawyer, counselor, and relationships with people that are openly your enemy. The Eighth House. The Eighth House, which is the 4 p.m. to the 2 p.m. position on the birth chart wheel, is the house of sex, death, taxes, inheritances, and investments. We all go through many deaths and transformations in this life, the death of an old way of being, the death of an old habit, and so forth. This is not the house that depicts your physical death. The deaths referred to here are psychological deaths and how they transform you. The physical deaths of people around you and how that affects you are also indicated by this house. The eighth house also refers to the psychic, emotional energy connections of sexual expression that fuse two people into a closer union. This house indicates occult psychic experiences and abilities of all kinds. It indicates your interactions with other levels of energy and life beyond the physical realm. This is another money house and here the money comes from other people through inheritances or investments or money that leaves you in the form of taxes. It relates to all monies that come and go in your life that you do not earn through working at a formal job. The ninth house. The ninth house, which is the 2 p.m. to 12 noon position on the birth chart wheel, is the house of religion, spirituality, philosophy, higher learning, and long distance travels. Indicated here are your long distance travels to other countries or continents where you can experience radically different cultures that broaden yourself as a human being. This is also the house of higher learning, such as in a college or university setting. On a mundane level, this is where your college and university environment and experiences are indicated. The study of philosophy, rigid religion, and spirituality are also indicated here which are far distant travels of the mind. 
Everything to do with the study of the law is indicated by this house. This includes your formal studies of the law, as well as your experiences in front of a judge. The Tenth House The Tenth House, which is the 12 noon position to the 10 a.m. position on the birth chart wheel, is the house of your public image and standing in the world. It refers to your career as opposed to the day-to-day -day work environment of the sixth house. This is the house of your public image and reputation, which is not representative of your private reality. The 11th house. The 11th house, which is the 10 a.m. to the 8 a.m. position on the birth chart wheel, is the house of your hopes and wishes. Have you ever dreamed about becoming a ballerina, a fireman, a deep sea diver, an adventurer? This house represents these hopes and wishes that may or may not become your reality. The 11th house is also the house of your friends. It refers to the types of people you like as friends, as well as the type of friend you are to others. On a broader level, it refers to all groups, organizes, uh, organizations, and clubs that you belong to. The 12th house. The 12th house, which is the 8 a.m. to 6 a.m. position on the birth chart wheel, is the house of your unconscious habits and subconscious mind. It pertains, pertains to those aspects of yourself that other people may see, but you may have difficult times seeing in yourself. As a result, this is the house of your undoing. This house represents your hidden enemies, all of those people that smile to your face and knife you in the back. These are the people that you did not realize were working against you. The 12th house also represents your relationship with places of confinement, such as prisons, hospitals, mental hospitals, and so forth. You may be the person that works in these institutions, or you may be a resident. All of the experiences you may have with these institutions are indicated here.